So today's the day we're going to work on lifting the Nissan Pathfinder. Yeah, I'm excited. Can't wait. Been waiting for this day for a while. Yeah, so um, I'm doing a budget lift right now. So with this budget lift, we're just using coil spacers in the front, bolt on top of the shock, uh, coil over. First time opening it, I've had it for like two weeks. Ooh, bottle opener and some stickers. So weakness, they're around 60, $70. And it's a aluminum two inch coil spacer. There it is. I'm sure other people online review them. Come with hardware and the coils. And for the rear, I've got this two by two, um, 120 wall tubing. Got two three inch sections and two 11 inch sections and this is a lift for the rear because the rear is a it's all it has its own subframe because it's independent rear suspension you can buy kits online go for like 260 i believe but i bought this metal end cut for about 13 dollars i just have to drill the holes and buy longer bolts so Let's get started. And you might be asking what size tire are we going to? We're going to 33s. And with the theme of budget, this is a budget tire. They are Thunder Track Grip MT. And it's a 285-75-16. So it equates to a 32.8. Everyone calls them 33s. All right, let's get going. Alright guys, so here it is. 
my 2012 Nissan Pathfinder uh, independent front and rear suspension with my budget lift homemade rear two inch blocks and uh, just the puck lift in the front so uh, yeah she is purdy and she's a big beast for her size um, and I must say this thing has performed better than I ever thought it would you know it's not a rock crawler or anything crazy but what I do with family and what I've done with all my other rigs that have a uh, well I had a Jeep CJ so uh, solid front and rear axles lots of flex and then I had a first gen Xterra for a little bit and that thing flex pretty well as well as well as well yes <laughs> I guess that's right so being that it's independent rear suspension there's not nearly as much flex as anything with a solid rear axle <laughs> but this thing performs better than I thought it would um, 33s on here work extremely well of course they're mutters so uh traction for days on the rocks we went out while it was raining and uh we never slipped once i do lift wheels because it's independent rear and there's not as much flex and uh it doesn't work like a solid axle where one side pushes the other side lifts these uh what am i trying to say i don't know what i'm trying to say is I'm on three wheels more than anyone else would be with a solid rear axle. Um, but with the traction control, it acts like a, what would you say, like a modified diff locker? Nothing like a locker, but I've used it a bunch of times and it works. So uh, very impressed. Never thought it worked like it has. Much bigger so we can do family trips easier. Big plans for this, don't know how long it'll take, but I am pretty stoked about this. We just climbed up this little hill, which Colette probably, uh, I don't know how she would have felt about going up it. Um, I had a little, my heart was pumping and it went up it like nothing. I, I will say you do have to pick your lines better. You can't just uh, you know go for the most difficult, but what I did on this trail, and I know on camera it looks like nothing, I tell you man but uh yeah I didn't slip once for low and uh it's awesome so yeah very impressed with this thing well guys thanks a lot for coming along with me on this adventure I really appreciate it don't forget to have yourself an adventure big or small doesn't matter go have fun and as always don't forget to cherish your family see you guys next time